Hello everybody, what is up? It is me Danny, back here for another video. And today, well, I guess I didn't have any intro, but today is news time, because I haven't done one of these in a very long time. So news time is today. Let me just bring down the camera a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Anyways, today is news time, which means today we I'm a little bit like that. Today is news time, which will mean I'm going to be talking to you about some news from me. Alright, so remember a week ago, actually like five weeks ago, I went to Lock 11 camp. Yeah, and I stayed there for five days. I have a lot of camp stories to tell you. Funny camp stories. Anyways, let's begin with day one camp stories. So we, we had to take a drive over to Lock 11 camp, which was a two hour drive. Two hours to drive there and two hours to get there. It was very hard, and I, no, it wasn't. I'm just kidding. They had movies in the car, apparently. And I was like, oh yeah. And um, so yeah, everything was fine on the drive. We got to Lack Eleven Camp eventually safely and perfectly fine. There was no entry sign, I don't think. I went in like a newcomer usually, because I I was a newcomer to it. I've never been to the stupid flipping camp, which was probably one of my greatest achievements. You know, I just sat, sat there like a moron, sitting there with my luggage for the next week. Ready to show, no, I'm joking. Anyways, so I met a new person there, and one of the counselors named Ben. His name was Ben. I have a sheet here of all the people there. I'm going to go through most of them. <laughs> They were in a lot of my stories. Um, anyways, so, there are a lot of cabins there that we all stayed in, with bu two with bunk beds and all that. And there were only two cabins for boys. One cabin was a two-story. Um, was two-story, two-story. And, um, I saw, I got on the top bunk. I got, I got top story. I got higher story, I don't know. And, um, I, I, so that means I didn't have to listen to the noise downstairs and everything like that. So, um, before I chose, I, I actually knew a person that I was sleeping with in my room, in my, in my room of the cabin. Like, see, in, when you jump into the cabin, it's like, not like the bunk beds are everywhere. Like you see in movies, there's a ton of rooms, like there's room one, room two, room three, room four. And that was it. And then there's like a living room where there are some beds as well. So, I was in room four to the left. I was on the left top bunk. And under me was a friend of mine named Bobby, which I made friends with very quickly because he was my car ride. So, I went with Bobby because he was going to come back with me. So, I needed to make friends with him because he was like my only person to rely on instead of my cousin. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's talk about Bobby. <laughs> Alright, so let me find Bobby's picture really quick. This is Bobby. This is Bobby. That's Bobby. That's Bobby right there. And, um, yeah, Bobby... Bobby was my friend. So, yeah. And then we have, um... Let's, let's go... This is a very unorganized thing. Very unorganized. So I met Bobby in the car ride. Let's just say that. He was in my room. We'll get to the two other people that were in my room later. But that's it for now. Alright, so pretty much Bobby was a friend of mine. Good friend, good friend. And we talked a lot about stuff in the cabin. Now, before that, um, before I chose my bunk, actually before I went and um, cleaned up my bunk and got everything in my bunk ready... And all that for sleeping for the night. Um, my dad dropped me off. He came here. He hugged me. We we um we said we love each other, and he left. And I was on my own for that part. Very sad stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, parents can actually apply there to be counselors. I don't want to be a counselor. <laughs> That'd be weird. I wanted to be alone. Um. So let's go to the two other people that were in my bunk. Um, one was named Chase. The other one was named Tom. They were both, those two people were really good friends. They stuck together like glue. 
And they knew each other for a long time because I think they went to the same camp, Lock Levin, for a very long time. Anyways, um, so our, our part of the camp was the best. Not like I'm trying to brag or anything, but it was the best because they had ping pong tables outside. They had the best water filtered. They had, they, yeah, it was awesome. They did have ping pong tables. It was really cool. Um, only for us. Like, in the morning, if you woke up, you could have come up there. Because that was legal in the camp. Anyways, um, yeah. So, they stuck together like glue. I will show you them in just a few seconds. I'm really good friends with Chase. I still have his contact. I follow him on Instagram. I have him, his contacts. He's still a really good friend of mine. Bobby, still a good friend of mine. Tom, I have his phone number. I called him, he never picked up, and I kept trying. I'm gonna try it today as well. So, Tom, answer your phone, bro. Answer. Anyways, um, Chase was a really good friend of mine. He backed me up on a lot of stuff. Um, Chase, thanks for being there for me a lot. I, I'm being very sincere. Thank you. For being my friend, Chase. Thank you a lot. Um, Bobby, thank you for being my friend. Tom, thank you for being my friend. And the other part of the, the we went to dinner. Dinner was great. The next thing I knew, um, um, dinner was awesome because you could have cereal every single part of the day. You could have it for breakfast. Well, that's normal, but. You could also have it for lunch, dinner, and more. <laughs> it was great. Anyways, they served us really good food. First day was pasta, and then we went outside to do some activities, and that's when the emotional part comes. I got homesick. I've never, I never got to be alone for my parents because I love them so much, and I'm usually with one of them at a certain point in time. Like, it's good to have, like, an hour break from them and all, at some points, you know, when I'm alone, stuff like that. But I didn't, I never knew that I was going to be alone for five days. Well, I did, I didn't know that. But I was just like, wow, I'm, I'm really here and miss my family. So I cried a lot. Um, the counselors really got me through it. Andrew and Christian, my counselors that slept in my and that slept in my cabin on topper, um, were really nice to me. I made friends with them really nicely. Andrew was really cool. Christian was really cool. Christian, what well, it, it was his first time there. Andrew, fourteenth time. I'm pretty sure it's fifteenth or fourteenth time. Andrew was really cool. And I gotta say, to Bobby, Chase, and and um, Andrew and Christian and Tom, that you guys got me through me sleeping, and you got, like, when every single time that I wanted to go to sleep, um, it was really nice to them, because I felt comforted, I felt like I had family, like, when I wanted to cry, and I missed my parents so much, I thought, I thought that I had family right next to me, sleeping under me, sleeping to the side of me, sleeping on diagonally from me it was really nice of them to become my friends and if they didn't i don't know what would happen so thank you chase tom bobby christian and andrew i mean there were only two bunks andrew slept outside of her yeah anyways oh <sighs> uh, i'm gonna show you chase's face andrew's face christian's face and bobby's and, and tom i mean tom's face yeah so this This right here, that's, that's Chase, that's just Chase, bro, yeah, and then we have Tom, Tom's right, Tom's right here, this is Tom, yeah, that's Tom, and then we have Andrew, And now we have
Christian. And then we have me. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to Tom, Christian, Andrew, Chase, and Bobby. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, day two, blah, 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 blah. day two, breakfast morning was great. Um, did I leave anything out? Oh yeah, I left one thing out before day one. Um, let's talk. I gotta say thank you to everyone that is in my cabin. Thank you. Because when I walked in from being homesick, I had tears on my face. I was walking up the stairs to enter the door. No one was behind me. I said, hey, I can walk up my bed myself. And the counselor left. And then I walk in, and everybody yells, Daddy! Like, like they were excited to see me. And it made me, and it made me have a really big energy boost. I'm not sure if the counselors told them to do that. I mean, it was the first day I barely knew the counselors, and I grew to like, I grew to be friends with the counselors through the day more, through the days more. But wow, that was really nice of them to do that to me, because that gave me a very big energy boost. So I felt like I had a lot of family. Anyways, um, next things first. Day two, breakfast was awesome. I had cereal. I also made a lot of friends. A lot of new friends. I met, um, I met a person named Christopher. I met another person named. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyways, they were. I, I, I had a group of friends. A group of friends that I don't remember their names, except Christopher. I remember Christopher. I thought their other names were named Bobby. I don't remember their names. Let's just leave them out of it. Anyways. Um, the second day, um, I met them, and I became friends with them, and I sat th with them for the next three days. And so we're not going to go skipping forward three days, but, um, that same day was the day that we had to go at lunchtime. Lunchtime, let's go. Let's... Well, wait, I forgot one important thing. It's about this, it's about this. Um, the important thing is that I skipped a part, which was family groups. I had a family group. I can't believe it. I have more family. Anyways, family groups were awesome. I had a lot of family. Um, I'm not sure if they want me to show you their faces, but I, I, I know, I, I know, I had a friend named Link. I had a friend named Amelia. I had a friend named PJ. There's a, there's a story about PJ that I can go on about, but I'm pretty sure that that would be inappropriate. Anyways, PJ is a girl. All the th all these three are girls. Um, well, who else did we had? Um, we also had um, Mama. Yeah, you'll give. We also had Katrina, and we had. Sean, which did not speak. Sean didn't speak because he was either antisocial about it or he couldn't speak. I made him laugh a lot. I think I made him be in comfort bed, comfort. But the first day I was really, I was like, Sean, speak! And he was like, <laughs> like that. So, he didn't really talk that much, but I, I grew to like him. Anyways. Um, we also had a green haired green haired girl, which was really nice. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I have it on that piece of paper, but I don't have it next to me right now. I took it to my mom's house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will remember, and I will put it in the comment section below later, okay? I'm sorry. Anyways. Yeah, we had a few more people, but yeah. And we also had Tony and Ramaldo as our two counselors. And they were cool. Get yeah, Tony was cool. Don't Ramaldo was cool as well. Um, the third day um was pretty. F I mean, the second day was still really fun. The second day, actually, I had to do a skit with this group of people, and I was like, I'm antisocial. I have a YouTube channel. It has 39 subs, but now it has 42. By 
the way, thank you for 42 subs, everybody. Yeah! Anyways, um, and yeah, I had to do a skit. I've never done a skit. I've never got up in front of an audience and said, hey, I have a joke, and everyone laughs. I've never been in front of an audience, so that was my first time. Yeah. Third day. Let's skip over to the third day. Um, yeah. Day four, and no, but third day was pretty cool because I had a lot of more friends. I had a friend named Garrett. I will show everyone's face later. Okay, I'll try to. It might be a little too much work remembering, so maybe I'll put it in the end. Maybe I won't. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, Garrett was really cool. He was one of my best friends. Garrett, I still keep contact with him. Garrett, if you're watching this, you are the best person alive! Yeah. Anyways, Garrett's really cool. He's one of my best friends. Anyways. Um. I got in a fight. Wait, no, we won't talk about that. That was day four. We'll go on that later. Anyways. Um. Day three was pretty cool. I had a lot of friends. People were mean sometimes to me, but I, I stuck through it. Anyways, yeah, and I stuck and I stuck with Christopher for a while, and then I went over to Tom and Chase because I wanted to spend time with them and see what they were doing. And they liked me a lot. I mean, they didn't like me for the first two days, but now they do. No, I'm joking. They learned to like me. Anyways, um, that's what they said. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you about a kid named Brody. Brody was one of my best friends as well. He was really cool. He was awesome. He stuck on top of it and he was awesome. Brody got sick. He threw up and he did almost got sent home. Brody, Brody, Brody was pretty cool. Brody was my friend. Um, we had daily activities at lunch and stuff like that. I'm not going to go over that because that has a lot of detail. Um, anyways, um, I think I'm gonna, oh yeah, day three, no, day, th okay, no, day four, was that. um, day three for, um, family groups was pretty cool, I stuck with everyone, I have a story to tell you about PJ, no, I'm joking, that's, it's a very inappropriate story, I'm, I was the victim, I can't believe it, I, like, I sat next to PJ for the first time ever, I was like, hey, PJ, she was really nice, and then, Something happened. She grabbed something. And then he was like, oh my god, you suck. And then we stayed friends. But yeah, I have her email. She's pretty cool. Anyways. Um, day four. Let's skip over to day four now. Day four. There's a lot of things that went on in day four. I can't believe it. I know a lot of things on day four, bro. Anyways, day four. First day of day four. No. Day four, we went over to the breakfast hall where we sat there and waited for the doors to open so that we could go sit down and get breakfast. And then, apparently, there was this guy that was right next to my butt. And I just shoved, and I just, like, touched his belly, and I was like, hey, move back, man, move back. And then he comes from behind and starts scratching my neck. You can see where this is going. You can see, yeah, yeah. He started scratching my neck like he wanted to tear off my skin. So I elbow him in the stomach. And then he starts punching me. And I start punching back. What a flipping idiot. He is the worst kid alive. Worst kid. Like, I didn't do anything. I was just like, bro, get off my butt. <laughs> and he's like, no, you don't know why. And he was like, a, he was Korean. I think he looked Korean. No, I'm joking. That's racist. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Anyways, no, he was, um, made some jokes about him. He was really mean. <laughs> he was really mean. I hate him. He's now my friend. I would love to kill him. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and go to the next part. Day three, which was before day four, um, Tom comes over to me. Chase comes over to me. Bobby comes over to me. And they say, hey, Danny, 
They want to use you in our skit that we're going to do for the talent show. And on day four, there was a talent show. And I was like, okay, man, let's do it. And we tried out, we tried out, and we did it. So day four, same day, we had to go up there. It was the funniest flipping act out there. We um we did a skit like there was bears. I was Timmy Tenderfoot. That was that was supposed to be my stage name. Um, Tom was supposed to be Scoutmaster Joe. I was supposed to come over to Scoutmaster Joe and go like, Scoutmaster Joe, I forgot my tent. And then Scoutmaster Joe goes like, Oh, Timmy, you 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 forgot your tent? Oh, oh my God! And I was like, Well, my mom packed my stuff. Oh, your mom packed your stuff. Oh my. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're just gonna have to sleep outside. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Nothing happened. I just had to. My dad just had to tell me something. Anyways, so, um, so, um, day four was really funny, and um, we got a lot of laughs because of something happened. I'm not gonna say what. But it happened in the same day, day four, you know, you know, day four, in the morning at 5.30, people went on a hike, and I didn't join because I didn't want to. Tom came back in the morning, I think Chase went as well, and Bobby went as well, but anyways, I think that they all went, I was alone, <laughs> and when Tom came back, he had, a cell he had his camera, he said, hey, bro, bro. There was a huge rattlesnake, and I was like, what? And it was like, yeah, man, it's right over there. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, the rattlesnake was not that close to us. It was, uh, it was like 20 feet away, and it was on a rock, and then it disappeared. But, oh, my God. That thing was huge. He had pictures. He showed me. I was like, blah. Anyways, um, same day, day four, talent show. You know, baby rattlesnake comes along behind everyone that's looking at the talent show. Luckily, we were able to capture it and we put it in a safer place. Anyways, day three. We're going back to day three. Rubio, one of the um, one of the counselors. You know, one of the counselors decides to go get soy sauce because we were having some Chinese food, like some rice, and he wants to get some soy sauce. And he sees this black thing moves, and he didn't see it. He didn't see it. And then he just grabs it and starts moving and he throws it at the wall. And it's a huge tarantula. I'm not even joking. I'm not even mesmerizing. I saw it on the wall crawling. We were able to capture it. It was put in a safer place. Anyways. <sighs> Lots of stuff happened, bro. Lots of stuff. Anyways, day five. Our parents picked us up. We went home. I have a lot of people's contact numbers. I haven't got around to that because I'm lazy piece of, of something. I don't know where it came from. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah. So don't worry. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this amazing video. If you did, please consider subscribing. So consider it. Just, con just consider it. Um, thank you so much everybody for watching this video. I'm My next um, video is going to be a Q&A video. If you don't know, follow my Instagram. Link will be in the description below. And, um, you go follow it and go on my first, the first, the, the last, the latest video and comment on the video about, about your, about any questions that you have. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.